as you guys all know the windows 11 the updates are being rolled out on people's computer we as an personal consumers we are expected to get the rollouts pretty soon probably in early december but what if i told you that you can get the update today itself yes you heard me right the upgrade is possible today itself i've tested it on my other computer it went so great okay uh so i left my main computer all the upgrades so i can show you guys so i thought of just sharing the information with you so whosoever watching this video can go ahead and update their windows right now to windows 11 and trust me it's it's going to be the most legit way possible you don't need to download any software you don't need to go through any crack or anything you just go to your laptop if you have windows 10 installed on it already it's a straight upgrade all right you just need to change minor changes on your computer okay in the existing windows itself you don't need any other software you don't need any crack you don't need any torrent you don't need a heavy download to do that okay it will be done in your windows itself you need to be a part of uh, the insider program in windows 10 i'll show you how it's done it's so easy any computer literate anyone who, who knows how to use a computer can do it it's so easy just few clicks away i'll show you on the computer how it's done now so let's go ahead and do it now i i'll show you how it's done it's so easy all right so right now i'm on my computer as you can see all right so go to your computer look for just type insider so you'll see over here there is a windows insider program settings you click on that so from here all you gotta do is just click on get started here you need to link any of the account which you have in your microsoft account all right all right so whatever account you have logged in in your microsoft account also just use the same account and press continue and once you do that it will ask you for uh, some options that pick your insider setting all you gotta do is choose the dev channel right and then all you gotta do just terms and conditions confirm it will ask you to restart the computer after that so as you can see my computer is being restarted over here and after that you see your cursor you take it to windows update click here and now check for updates so when you check for update now it should give you an option to download the windows 11 on your computer i know it sounds crazy i know it is pretty early than the regular update but it's great as you can see this is the full version of windows 11. trust me i've tested it this is the full version of windows 11. i have had no problems with it I'm able to run my Premiere Pro uh, or all the editing softwares on this Windows itself on my second computer. So I hope this would be the case with this computer as well. So it shouldn't be a problem. And um, so far I have Windows Premiere Pro installed on my computer. I have uh, the Premiere Pro Audition installed in it. I have After Effects installed in it. I have Microsoft Office installed in it in my other computer. And all of them, they are working really great onto that. And I'm, I hope the same situation would be there with this computer too. So now as you can, guys can see, it's being uh, downloaded. It'll take good amount of time, all right? So I'll leave the computer now so that while it's being done. So I hope that's what you guys will do as well. So just leave it for some time, wait for it to be downloaded and I'll show you the next steps that you need to do. Okay, so, okay. So thousand years later, it has downloaded everything. So we shall go ahead and restart it now. As you guys can see over here, it's giving me an option to restart now. Restart it tonight or pick a time. If you're impatient like me, you might want to do it right now. That's what I'll do. I'll restart my computer now and let's see what happens from there. You can see that it has successfully upgraded to Windows 11, as you guys can see over here. So it was, that was over dramatic, I'm sorry about that. So you guys can see it has successfully upgraded to Windows 11, as you guys can see over here, Windows 11 Pro. So I didn't have to um, put my key or anything again. 
in the windows it straight away went ahead and upgraded the windows and luckily it didn't mess up with any of the drivers on my computer that's a good thing so no uh, drivers have been messed up so far so i'm really happy about it so this is windows 11 if you guys haven't seen it yet so it is all about windows 7 to be honest i really like it let's rename my computer let's then mess it down and it says you won't, it won't work okay so i'll just put it as nothing next it might just ask that will restart later on yeah so i'll restart later that's fine it will change eventually so i'm not worried about that it looks like an apple macbook to be honest with you see the icons and everything this is an official upgrade so you don't need to worry about that everything else i don't see any other changes in the applications to be per se and uh, to be honest with you i don't see much changes in the applications they look exactly the same just a little bit of uh, changes here and there and uh, yeah it looks nice to be honest and media player and everything is still the same i don't feel any difference so that was all for today and uh, i hope to see you guys again in my next video when i'm, I'm able to do some right so the reason one of the reason i want to share this information with you is because i'm not going on rights for so long because of um, this lockdown uh if you guys know about it in sydney so it's another phase that has started again so we are kind of stuck at our home so i'm not able to make any rides so far so that's why i decided to make this quick video to help others to get their uh, computer upgraded to windows 11. so when this uh, lockdown gets over i might just see you in the next ride for now just stay safe and stay home i shall see you guys in the next video then